viewers this is a quick tutorial on getting up and running with the BR363 shunting locomotive the German Kronk. Let's do this. So first thing we want to do is turn our master key on. Now if you want PZB you're going to have to get out of the chair pop over here there's a little circuit breaker cover you've got to open that and then you can turn on the PZB switch if you can get onto it with the moose there we go now this locomotive can be controlled from either side there's a duplicate set of controls and to tell the locomotive which side you want you press the changeover button so we're going to pop back over here into our chair over here and we will press the changeover button on this side now now i'm only going to cover the basics but there are some other things that you can do now let's talk about the brakes first up we've got the direct brake which is currently applied and i can release that you notice the brake cylinder pressure is going down because the train brake is released as well. And it's got a hold position in the middle and you can apply it, apply it some more, apply it some more, apply it some more and hold it if you want to. And go into release. We're probably going to start rolling in a moment because this yard's on a slight incline. Now the train brake I'm going to cover a little bit more in a tick because you've got to be a little bit careful with it. But the first thing I want to do is let's get our reverser into forwards and let's get some movement towards this loco so i just start throttling up a little bit you can either move that with a mouse i'm using the rail driver and get a little bit closer to this set we're going to couple to and we are on monitoring on pzb so we have to behave ourselves and go slowly so let's apply this brake a lot and of course the rail driver's excitement it pops back out to uh, wanting to release. Now, this locomotive has auto couplers, which is pretty cool for this kind of rail environment. Because normally in the German things, it's just this hook thing. But we have couplers, and there's one on either end. So we're only going to use the other one, so we'll only use that one for now. Now, getting up on and off these can be a little bit interesting you cannot get back into the cab if it's moving because the climb up commands don't work if it's moving so I've climbed up here now I have to come around to the edge here and climb up again uh, did I come around the wrong side the dummy did come around the wrong side climb up all right and to get into the cab you have to climb up again now if you come out of the cab and go around the back there you actually can't get back in if the thing's moving bummer all right let's release the direct brake a little bit of go juice don't need much i released it straight away because we're just crawling up towards our vehicles let's pop outside and watch Let's start braking because you don't want to hit these too hard. All right, they have coupled up quite happily. The game will realise that any second now. Any second now. There we go. All right, back in the cab. Now let's talk about the train brake. I'm going to release this one, and I'm going to apply the train brake. So if I push that round to apply, and then bring it back to lap. See how the pressure came down a little here and the pressure went up a little over there? So let's do that again. Let's apply and lap. So our cylinder pressure went up and our brain pipe pressure went down. Now this is important. The release, there's two positions around here. There's driving and then release. Don't put it into release for very long. So you go down and straight off it. Because if you do anything else, the train pipe will overcharge. And if you get much over this red line, you actually won't be able to release the brakes on the train. And you'll be stuck. There's a workaround in that you can go into emergency and dump all the air and start again. That will work. But it's not really the way you're meant to do it. So go into reverse now. And that's... PZB, in fact we come out of monitoring now and there's another PZB indicator up there so you can watch in the direction that you're facing 
and we've charged up the train so we can drive away now now uncoupling is essentially the reverse procedure of what you did out there there are a few other controls so you've got wipers you've got your pzp controls here you can turn on and off whatever lights you want to have so if you want your instrument lights on for example if you're doing nighttime instrument lights where are you somewhere there's instrument lights there they are so if you want your instrument lights on because you're working at night you can do that anyway that's about it you can watch our little train chug off into the distance and run through the red signal so that's it for this tutorial and bye now thanks for watching folks i hope you enjoyed it i always like to get your feedback in the form of likes and comments because they help me understand what you want Give the channel a subscribe and click on the tinkly things so you don't miss out on any new stuff. And thanks for your ongoing support. And please, be safe out there.